Hi guys, it's Christine. Welcome back and welcome. This is your first time here. So in today's video, we're going to be opening up a five pound repurposed jewelry box that I purchased from shopgoodwill.com. And this box comes from the Goodwill of West Michigan. And if this is indeed your first time here, my name is Christine and my channel is called Girlio. And I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay, and I do direct sales through YouTube. So if you're interested in anything you see in these videos, please feel free to contact me at girlyorox at gmail.com, and we can work something out. And all the information on how to order is down below in the description box. And I don't take orders through the comments section down below, so definitely please email me. And I look forward to hearing from you. Okay, guys. So this box is a box of five pounds of repurposed jewelry box. I've never bought one from shopgoodwill.com, but it was sort of advertised as sort of a mystery box, just like the blue boxes. So I'm hoping for the best here. So let's cut it open and see what's inside. So I hope everyone is doing well. Welcome all to my new subscribers. I noticed a bunch of new people joining the channel, so I really appreciate each and every one of you. Welcome, welcome. And I hope you're enjoying the content on here. And once I reach 1,000 subscribers, I will be giving away a box of jewelry. And I'm not sure which one, so I'm hoping that maybe you guys can vote down below. I'm thinking of giving away a Goodwill blue box or a Thread Up DIY box, a DIY jewelry box, because I know they're both so hard for a lot of people to get. If you guys want, you can vote down below and let me know which one you're interested in receiving. Once I hit 1,000 subscribers, I'll be giving that box away. Okay, guys, so this is First Impressions. There's so much shine here with my lights. Hopefully you can see what's inside. But this is what we have. I see some beaded baubles here, some plastic, and some metal. Let's see what we have in here. Okay, so... I'm going to take this out. Oh. oh, it's in a bag, which is great. Okay. Oh, I see some things that are paired up, which is really, really nice. And let's open this up. Okay, guys. Let's put this off to the side. Let's turn on the Presidium. Let's pull out to the first item out of the bag. Okay, so we have an ear hook here. Um, I'm sure something was attached to this at one point. It is magnetic, so we'll put that over to the side for now. Okay, then we have these earrings, very pretty. They're metal, and they're pretty. Have this wavy sort of pattern to them. Very pretty color. If anybody is interested in these, these will be $2. Very cute. Okay, let's see what's next. We have this, which says monograms, and it's the letter K. It says six, 16 to 18 inch adjustable necklace. Very cute, and it has these rhinestones. It's just silver tone. Very pretty. If anybody's interested in this, this will be $3. It's cute. Oops. Next, we have these pair of earrings, really pretty. These are enameled, gold tone. And let's see if these are signed. Hmm, they don't look to be signed or marked. They do need to be cleaned. There's some white stuff there, but they are very beautiful. Very pretty earrings. If anybody's interested in these, these will be $3. Very pretty. I like those a lot. Okay, next we have, okay, we have this necklace, gold tone, very shiny. And let's see. It does need a good wipe down, I think, but I do not see any significant wear on it. It's 
very pretty, lightweight, shiny, and you've got this textured gold here. And you've got a shepherd's hook. Oops. Okay, let's get a measurement on this guy. Really pretty. I like that collar necklace. Um, let me take a measurement at its full length here. Let's see. This measures 17 inches about with a three inch extender. Very beautiful EG's necklace. If anybody wants this, this will be $7. Very pretty. Next we have a stretchy and this is fashion jewelry. And I think these um, cords were taken off, were put on at the Goodwill. So these are plastic and then we have these brass findings. This is a loose one. So if anybody wants this, this will be a dollar. This will go into craft. Okay, Let's see what else we have here. We have this necklace, very, very pretty. This is got a mark and it says it's Premier Designs. You can see the little logo there. This is gorgeous. Premier Designs makes some really lovely pieces of jewelry. Um, it has the faux pearls and these faux crystals. These are not glass, I believe. I believe them to be plastic. Let's see. Yeah, those are plastic, acrylic. They're very pretty, lightweight, beautiful orange, sort of a peachy color and gray colorway. And this measures 11 inch drop, 22 inches around. If anybody would like this one, this one will be $5. Okay, next we have this pretty necklace. This is very beautiful. These feel cold to the touch, so I wonder if these are glass beads. I'm not sure if they all are glass. It's very beautiful. Let's see. Let's see, these are glass. Yeah, these are glass beads. And let's see these seed beads. These are glass as well. Let me just double check. Yeah, so I think these are all glass beads. Very pretty. They sort of have an AB coating. Very beautiful. Gorgeous look to them. And let's take a measurement on this. This measures 14 inches around the neck. If anybody would like this one, this one will be five dollars. Okay next we have these bangles, a set of bangles here, silver tone, very pretty rope and braided and one with little balls on them and just very pretty set of bangles, silver tone. We have one, two, three, four, five, six bangles here and if anybody wants this set this will be Three dollars. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. And I might need to do this in two parts because it looks like a big bag in here. But we shall see how far we can get. Okay. Next we have this bangle. Really pretty. It's a pretty color. It's a reddish brick kind of red with this white marbling. Really pretty. But that's really nice. Let's get a measurement on this one. It's a dark red. Sort of a Bordeaux color. So it's eight inches around. Really beautiful bangle. If anybody wants this, you can see the color here as I bring it a little closer. This one will be four dollars. Very pretty. All right, let's see what this is. 
these little strings so they'll try and pull out. These are from the Goodwill because they probably were marked and then they just grabbed a bunch of things that were not selling, I'm guessing, and put them in this bag. Okay. So here is a ladybug necklace. And I think I've received one of these before. I don't know if this is an Avon. This one is not marked. But it's very, very cute. It's a little cute ladybug. And let's get a measurement on her. She measures 18 inches wearable length. Very pretty. If anybody wants this little ladybug, she will be $5. Okay, we have this interesting necklace. Really pretty. These geometric shapes here. These are metal. This is like a gun metal. And then we have this brushed silver. There is some marks there on that piece in the back here, probably from rubbing against the metal there. And then we have the center piece here, and then we have the gunmetal chain. And then this clasp is interesting. Let's see, how do you open this? Okay, so this is a button clasp, really interesting. And it's funny, the button says Snapology. So that's interesting. I wonder if this snaps off too. Oh, it does. So that's really cool. So I wonder if this is a brand of jewelry called Snapology. We can probably snap on the, the pendant and then snap on the clasp and you're ready to go. That's really cool. Never heard of this brand before, but really interesting. So let's take a measurement on this guy. This one measures about eight and a half inch drop. So it's 17 inches around. We have the Snapology necklace. And if anybody wants this, we'll do $7 on that Snapology. Okay, next we have this necklace. And this looks like, I'm not sure if this is a real stone. It looks like it's trying to be like a banded agate of sorts, but it's translucent. And it's on this cord here. Let's snip off this little cord. And let's see. So we have this cord here, two strands of it. Really pretty. And then let's test the stone and see if it's anything. No, that's just registering as glass. It's very pretty. It looks like a real stone. So we have that. And this measures about 15 inches around the neck. And then we have an extender here of about two and a half inches. If anybody wants this, this will be $4. Very cute. Okay, let's see what else is in here. So we have a card and it says Tony, $32 composite 18 by 25 millimeter onyx. Ooh, hope we find this in here. So let's see, we have a stretchy and this is not onyx, it's plastic. If anybody wants this, this will be a dollar. Okay. Next we have another stretchy here and this one's really pretty. This is shell and they're very pretty Sort of a purple and black color combination here. Let's see. And let's take a measurement on this. This measures six and a quarter inches around. Very beautiful. And if anybody wants this one, this one will be $5. Next, we have these earrings, and these are metal, very 80s, very cool yellow color here. Very lightweight. If anybody wants these, these will be two dollars. see a lot of earrings, so that excites me. I'm on a big earring kick lately, which 
is nice for me. And this is a very pretty pin. Lots of beautiful rhinestones, so sparkly. And this is not marked, but there is some sort of, I don't know if this is wear or tarnishing, or discoloration going on there. But it is still very, very beautiful. And the pin back is a little bent, but it's very beautiful. Really pretty. And so this measures about two and a half inches. It's a pretty one. We have that. If anybody wants this, this will be $6. It's beautiful. Okay. Let's see if we can get some more items out of here. Okay, so what do we have next? We have these earrings and they are tangled in here, but they're very pretty. They're purple, feel cold to the touch and they're translucent. I don't know if you can tell. They sort of look like a Kendra Scott. They do have a, a bit of weight to them. They're silver tone. I don't know if they're sterling. They're very pretty, sort of. Hmm, I wonder if they are sterling. Very beautiful color. Let's take a measure. Um, let's test these. No, I see the copper coming through. This is definitely not Sterling. Let's test this. Nope, not sterling, but beautiful. Very Kendra Scottish. Two and a quarter inches. Very beautiful. Anybody? Oh, let me test these and see what these could be. These are going up towards. Hmm. Jadeite and spinel. Okay, so I need a bigger table, guys. I don't have a lot of room here to move around, unfortunately. Okay, so let's try and move the Presidium over and let's test these purple stones. Hmm, this one is going all the way up to Jadeite and spinel. So I wonder if this is a Jadeite, guys. Very beautiful. It could be a dyed jadeite. It's very pretty. So they're silver tone. If anybody's interested in these, these will be $18. Very beautiful. Okay, next we have this necklace here. And we have this sort of a medallion with the two, are these rhinos? or elephants. It has a horn, so it might be a rhino. And we have these stars here. I think this is brass. And have this really long chain here, it's very thin. Let's get a measurement on the chain. The chain measures about 20, 28 inches around. If anybody's interested in this, this will be $7. Next we have this necklace and it has a price, um, has a tag on it and it says $13.50 not intended for children under 12. Okay. And it does not have a mark, but it is brand new has these silver tone loops and these are acrylic. Um, there is some marking here. Is interested in this. This will be four dollars. Okay, next we have these earrings. Wow, these are fun. They are black, white, red, gold. Fun earrings. Very 
Belly Dancer Bollywood. Very lightweight, so these are not heavy, and these are just fun. Gold tone, let's get a measurement. They are about, I wanna say four inches. Fun earrings. If anybody wants these, these will be $4, those are fun. Okay. Next we have these earrings, really cute. And these feel like glass, they're purple, translucent. And then you have a little flower here. These could be ceramic or plastic, I'm not quite sure. But they are really cute. Really interesting loop here. This one is a little crooked. I'm sure I could just rejigger that a little bit. Oh, you can do that. And let's get a measurement on these. These measure about two inches. Let's see what this could be. Are these glass? Yeah, these are glass. Let's see if this is glass, this little flower. That is moving up towards glass. So maybe these are acrylic and this is acrylic. Yeah, so maybe these are acrylic and this is definitely glass here. And let's see if these are sterling. I don't think that they are. No, they're not. Very cute glass earrings. A little flower. If anybody's interested in these, these will be $3. Very cute. Okay. We have a plasticky gold rubber ring. Cute, that'll be a dollar if anybody wants that. So let's see what we have here. This is really pretty. It's a cuff bracelet, it's brass, and I love how this moves around here. These feel like glass, maybe cat's eye. And do you like them? So it says Liz Claiborne established 1976. Really cute Liz Claiborne. Have these acrylic beads here, different colors, purple and white with the dotted purple and blue color. And these silver tone rice beads, really pretty. I like that a lot. Let's get a measurement on this girl. And so this measures 16 inches around the neck. I think there's a little discoloration here on this bead. It might be losing its gold tone, I mean silver tone. So I don't know, let's do this one for four. Okay, we have this earring here. It looks like a shell. Really pretty. We have one of those. Let's see if we find a match. Then we have this earring, really pretty. Looks very Mondrian, but in pastel colorway. We have one of those. Let's see if we find a match to that. We have these earrings. These are metal, some very pretty metal earrings. And these are really nice, actually. I've seen a lot of cheapy looking ones. These are really nice. I mean, they do need to be cleaned, but this is really cute. I love the pink and the red. It's one of my favorite color combinations, but there is a little mark there. It's very beautiful. If anybody wants these, these will be $2. Very cute. Okay, guys, then we have what we have here, we have these little present earrings. How cute are these? There is some wear going on there, but they are cute. They're dirty, but they need to be cleaned up. They are so sweet. If anybody wants these, these will be $3. Sweet. And we have this earring, it looks like a coin. And this is United States 1906. I wonder if this is a real coin. I don't know. I don't think these are, I think these are acrylic. So we have that. We have a bell earring, cute. Okay, a lot of earrings in this lot. We have one of these, really pretty. So if we find a match to that. Oh, we do have a match to that. So if anybody, is interested. These are about two inches. 
not too heavy, really pretty blue stone, rhinestone in the middle. And if anybody wants these, these will be $2. Okay. Next we have these earrings, faux pearl, I believe. And these are silver tone. These are premier designs. There's the mark back there. However, it's very, very dirty. There's some verdigris happening in the back. So they will need to be cleaned up. Let's check out this one. Yeah, some greenies on this one too, but they're cute. If anybody wants these, Premier Design Faux Pearl Earrings, these will be $2. $2. Okay. Let's see, what do we have here? Can't get that out. Okay. So we have an earring here with a disco ball. Really cute. I like that. Spins. So you find a match to that. Then we have a gold necklace that says Janet. So Janet, if you're here, you have your necklace. And this is it's gold tone, I think. Yeah. So it's really, really cool looking necklace. Really cool. Let's get a measurement on this guy. This one measures 14 inches around the neck. Really sweet. And this one will be $4. And we have these pearls here. We have a beautiful box clasp. But let's see if I can get this off. Okay. And these feel slightly cold to the touch. But these are faux. Yeah, these are faux pearls. There is some cracking in some of the pearls. Yeah, some blistering, some really bad blistering happening there. So I think this will go into craft. That'll be a dollar, but beautiful clasp on that. Really pretty. Okay, I'm going to take a couple more handfuls here and then I'm going to stop and then we'll continue in part two. Let's see what we have here. We have this bangle, this mega bangle. Really pretty. I don't know what this is. I think this is metal, I believe. It's pretty. Um, let's get a measurement on this. Wow, this is a big one. This measures nine inches around. Needs to be cleaned up, but it's pretty. If anybody wants this, this will be $4. And we have this necklace here. And this is marked, and this is marked Claire's. So we have a Claire's on our hand, and it's fluorescent green, kind of fun. If anybody wants this, this will be $1. And we have this ring here, and it's elastic ring. And let's see. And we see the copper coming through on the back here, silver tone loss, but it's a stretchy. And we've got this faux pearl. Still quite pretty. Get a measurement on this one. This is about a seven. Still a lot of fun. If anybody wants this, this will be two dollars. So we have this bracelet. Very pretty. Silver, gold, bronzy bracelet. You got these panels, stretchy with these different color 
beads in between, really pretty. Quite big on me, but it's quite lovely. Let's get a measurement on this. This is about seven and a half inches. So if anybody wants this, this will be $4, that's fun. Then we have here an earring, a clip-on, really pretty leaf here. This is not marked. It's really beautiful. I hope we find a match to that. Ooh, what's this? This is gorgeous. Wow, that's really pretty. This is quite the fire to it. And I think this could possibly be an opal or an opalite. Wow, look at that, guys. I don't know if this is too bright. Let me tone down the brightness. Look at that, guys. What is this? Is this opal? Really pretty. Let's see what this tests on the presidium. Hmm. I don't know. It's not moving up towards glass. So maybe it's nothing. Maybe it's not even. It doesn't feel cold to the touch. So I wonder if it's just acrylic. That's just beautiful regardless. And let's see. Hmm, it has a mark and it says Sun BR. So we have that mark there. Sun BR. And then let's see what else we have here. We have this interesting clasp, like so. I need to research this a little bit more. And then we have these locking clasps like that. That's gorgeous. I need to do some more research on this guy. Okay, this one measures about seven and a quarter inches around. Wow, look at the fire on this. I want to see if this is opal or not. That's very intriguing. Beautiful. So going to look that up. So we have that. Then we have this bangle here, really, it's a little large. It's, okay, next we have this bangle here. I think this will go into craft. It's a little large, but I think it's gonna go into craft. It's, seen better days. Oh, this is pretty. This is a glass ring. It's an art glass ring. Really pretty. I've not seen a ring like this. I've seen a lot of art glass pendants, but not a ring. That's gorgeous. Look at the swirls on that. It's pretty, very trippy. It's small size though. Can't even fit me. I'm a size five. So it's really small. It's probably a four and three quarters, I'm thinking or less. Okay, so it's about three and a half, guys. This guy is teeny, teeny, tiny. And yeah, so that's small. But beautiful. So that's lovely. So we have that. Next, we have another ring here. And this is silver tone, and it's, it has some color lost here. Loss of some of the silver tone. Very pretty shank here with the rhinestones, faux pearl. But it has some color loss. And that is a big one, it's nine. But if anybody wants this, this will be $2. Pretty though. Okay. And then last in this batch, we have this beautiful enameled pendant necklace, not marked. Beautiful chain here. And we have a spring ring clasp. The clasp is not marked. It's very beautiful though. So here's the top of it. And then here is the bottom of it. Really beautiful pendant. The pendant measures in at three about three inches, and then the chain measures 13 inch drop, so it's 26 inches around the neck. Very beautiful, reminds me of an 80s, sort of 70s necklace. It's 
So if anybody wants this, this will be $8. Very beautiful. Okay, guys, so I'm going to stop here because we still have a lot more to go and it's getting late for me. Um, I don't know, I'm going to take a break and might come back at this and film again. But, oh, this is gorgeous. So stick around, guys, to see what this is. This looks like a Trafari. And don't see a mark on it right away. But we will dive into the second part in my next video. So stick around because there's a lot more to go. Look, that's gorgeous. Ooh, pretty. Okay, guys. So, yeah, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorites were if you had any. And don't forget to leave a comment down below if you prefer receiving a Goodwill Blue Box or a Threat Up DIY Jewelry Box. Um, I probably will only open this giveaway to people in the U.S. because it's so heavy, but I'll try and figure out something for international people as well if somebody who is international wins. But um, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. Also, guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell notification to be notified of when part two of this video comes out. And most of all, guys, be well.